everybody, um, and thank you for the invitation. And also my apologies for not being uh, here this morning, uh, but I was a little bit sick. Um, anyway, I'm very happy to be here, and uh, my, the objective, the aim of my presentation is actually to give you is actually to give you an overview of the activities of my organization from a perspective of an um, Italian NGO that is working on public health in Africa. So this is just an outline of my presentation. I will give you some basic key information about the NGO and I will um, go through the priority areas and um, where and how we work in these countries and then I will try to dig a little bit more on the um, and on operational research and on one of our flagship program that is on maternal and child health. So Doctors with Africa Quam was founded in 1950 and is actually the first Italian NGO dealing with public health in Africa. Uh, we work in eight uh, African uh, sub-Saharan African countries and basically we are trying to foster the fundamental human right to health. Um, of course, we don't do this alone. Uh, we are working in partnership with many different international organizations, uh, including the Global Fund to Fight uh, HIV, Tuberculosis and Malaria, and with um, a number of uh, UN agencies. So the priority areas we work on is um, reproductive, maternal and child health, infectious and tropical disease, uh, nutrition, non-communicable diseases and uh, universal health coverage. As I said before, we work in eight uh, sub-Saharan uh, countries, uh, Sierra Leone, Central African Republic, South Sudan, Ethiopia, Uganda, Tanzania, Mozambique and Angola. And our action actually is focused on health system strengthening, um, starting from the most vulnerable uh, sectors of the population, especially women and children. Um, our intervention includes basically all the, the um, prevention and screening and treatment programs. And plus, we are trying also to strengthen the referral system that is actually how to link the community level with um, the marginal um, health unit at the periphery sites with the referral hospital at the regional level, but I will come back to this later on. Then we also do capacity building activities. We train doctors, uh, nurses, midwives, and all other professional providers. And most importantly for the scope of this panel, we conduct and disseminate scientific research. <coughs> now we think that scientific research is really much like, at, like uh, kind of base ground where we build our interventions and basically because evidence-based approach is really like you know a solid ground to make better decisions actually. Um, it also helps to understand a little bit more the context where we work to understand also what is not working and to you know try to adjust, we, we have to try to adjust also on what is not working in order to realign a little bit with what are the needs on the ground. And scientific research is also very much important to identify evidence-based good practices, to share results and advocate for policy change, and to be actually fully accountable to all our stakeholders. How we do that? Um, we use um, both qualitative and quantitative research methods, of course, and we deal both with clinical and public health studies. And in all cases, our research questions are actually generated from the field. Um, research um, also allows us to partner with a number of European and African universities and to involve young um, resident doctors in our projects. I just wanted to give you a couple of practical examples on how we addressed some kind of you know, um, practical problems with our, um, starting from our research. In, uh, in Uganda, for instance, we developed birth cautions because we found out that in Karamoja region in the eastern part of Uganda, there were some problems with the deliveries. And basically, women were very much reluctant to go to the um, facility and to the hospitals. And so we tried to fill this gap coming up with this kind of cushion that is uh, basically a little a bed and pillow uh, that is facilitating these women to deliver in their traditional uh, in the traditional way. 
and in Sierra Leone, after the spread of Ebola, we decided to develop a kind of mathematical model to understand the spread of epidemics, so that this is actually helping us to identify where and how to act in case of future epidemics in the country. <coughs> so a little bit of numbers of this um, academic and, um, and uh, research efforts. In 2017 and 2018, we published several studies in international newspapers and reviews. But what I wanted to outline here is that the number of research partners that we were able to involve, like uh, you know, research is really much like a global and common effort, actually. Then I wanted to dig a little bit more on one of the most important um, programs, that is um, the one of maternal and child health, because as we all know, there are um, several problems in sub-Saharan African countries. There are more than 250,000 women dying from childbirth, and there is pretty much a high mortality rate uh, among newborn, and also malnutrition is a problem among under five child and pregnant women. So in order to tackle these problems, uh, we developed this uh, first thousand days for women and children to contribute to improving nutrition and, and health outcomes throughout seven African countries and throughout seven districts in this country. So it's a pretty challenging goal, but um, we are working hard for this. And how? <coughs> we work always at, in a kind of stratified way. So we always work at community level, we work at health facility level, and we work with, uh, with the authorities, with the institutions. So at health facility levels, of course, we try to provide and improve the, the services. Uh, at community level, we try to spread the voice and, and do a lot of knowledge and awareness activities, while we try to, at the same time, coordinate and plan with the institution. So this is a little bit more like um, a graphic uh, idea of what I was just saying. So we coordinate at ministry level with the regional uh, medical office and the district medical office. And then once we have agreed on the strategic plan, we deliver at three different levels, at the hospital, at peripheral health unit, at the community level. Now, I don't want to go too much to the, uh, into the details, but I just wanted to give you an overview of the package of activities that are delivered at community-based. So at community level, let's say we, we do a lot of mobilization and community awareness activities. We try to promote um, different um, social behaviors in order for the community to take responsibility of their own behavior, actually. And then after that, there is this uh, peripheral unit. So at those um, health facilities, we, we provide basic preventive and curative care. And uh, also we train, uh, we have some training activities also kind of basic level. And then all the very complicated uh, cases about malnutrition, we refer to the regional hospital. So this is a little bit of the overview of the activities that we provide, um, and I hope that I managed to also stress the importance of the scientific approach towards um, our experience on the ground. Thank you.